Hey guys, in this lecture, I'll be showing you a couple of things. Um, so we're, I'll show you how to hide columns, how to save your Tableau workbook, how to rename certain columns, and some other tips and tricks at the data source level. So starting with hiding columns. So in order to hide the columns, all you're going to do is you're going to right click on the column and you see the option right here, hide. You click on it and it's going to hide the column. So a good practice is to only is to hide the columns that you're not working with. And so when you go to go to the sheet level and start creating your dashboard, um, you limit uh, the the amount of columns that you have brought in so it keeps it simple so you can select the column press shift and you can select all of these columns at once right click on it hide and it's going to hide all of these columns so when you go to the worksheet you're you're not going to see those columns in the for selection anymore but in case after you have hidden the columns you want to revert back all you're going to do is this click on this option where it says show hidden fields and once you make the selection you're gonna see that these options that which we hid before have come back to unhide them all you're gonna do is right click and unhide and now you can use this um, column to create your view so we brought back ship mode and here's the ship mode Another thing um, I want to show you is the saving of the Tableau workbook. So let's go ahead and save it. All you're going to do is go to click on the save button right here. And we're going to save it as uh, passing BI Tableau course. So save as type, we have these two types. In the previous lecture, we covered the difference between these two files, the TWB file and TWBX. We're gonna go ahead and save it as a TWBX file and click on save. If you want to find out what the difference is between these two workbooks, uh, you're welcome to check out the previous lecture and I explained in detail what the difference is between them. So we're going to go ahead and save it as a TWBX and um, we're going to create an extract. Okay. So another thing uh, over here, you can either save the table as a live table um, or you can create the connection live. So whenever you connect to the workbook, um, by default, the option that was selected was live but I changed it to an extract extract what it does is it imports your data into the Tableau's fast data engine extract is created when you click on a sheet tab so if you click on extract um, since we have already created the extract um, it says right here that the extract includes subset of data from 630 621 um, PM. So everything that we had from so if from now tomorrow, uh, if the data were to change, those changes would not reflect here because the the data saved. Um, so we created an extract from January 30th or June 30th. So anything after it will not bring it into the dashboard. For you to bring it in, you would need to click on refresh, and it will refresh to the latest uh, data. Another thing I want to show you is the renaming of columns. So it's real simple to rename the existing columns that we have. All you will need to do is double click on the column and you can assign it a name. To find out what the previous name of this column was after you have renamed it, you can right click on it and I believe you go to describe and over here it tells you that the column name was orders 
dot subcategory subcategory so it's coming from the orders table and the name is subcategory so you can rename it back to subcategory and some other tips and tricks at the data source level is um, since we brought in these two, two tables, orders table and the people's table, to find out which table each of these different columns belong in, uh, you're going to notice that the second ta uh, second uh, row right here, you're going to see that it says orders, and if you scroll down, it's going to say people. So the depending on which uh, column which table this column comes from it will tell you right here exactly where it came from you can also hover over them and see that this came from the orders table and the the name was quantity so if you were to save rename the column if you hover over it um, let's see if it brings it Yeah, so if you hover over it, you would have need to go to describe and it will show right here that this was used to be category. You can also um, sort the fields from at from A to Z, Z to A, ascending, descending, and so on. And you can also limit how many rows you want to see in your uh, data. So this is um, Tableau is bringing only 10, 10 rows from your data set, not the entire collection. By default, it is set at 1,000. But this 1,000 doesn't mean that you have 1,000 records. So in order to find out how many records you have in your uh, data set all you need to do is click on this plus sign right here where it says new worksheet and you would bring in the measure uh, number of records onto the text mark and you would see that there are 822 records the reason why this has such less records is because we added filters and we created an extract to remove the filters all you would need to do is click on edit uh, select the filters, click on remove, remove, press OK. We're going to go ahead and remove these filters. Click on OK. And when we go back to our sheet, you're going to see that it has increased from to 9,994. So once you're at this stage, go ahead and save your worksheet. Um, and let's go to the next section.